Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of market research videos using the powerful tool AmiBroker. This is absolutely fantastic. In fact, this week we are validating an idea that came across my Twitter feed just a little while ago. In fact, it was while the market was melting down and it was, uh, it was from Chris Weston at uh, IG Markets who said that a mere 16% of ASX top 200 companies are above their 50 day moving average. So since 2008, when this falls below 10%, it's been a strong buying signal. So Chris is an absolutely stand up guy and a really cool guy to follow on Twitter as well. He's always coming up with little tidbits of information like this. But you know what? I thought we could actually test it out and find out how robust this was, whether it was something that we could actually use in our own trading and investing. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we also looked at how to create our own indicator or our own index and that was using a universe of stocks so for example like the ASX top 200 or it could be the S&P 500 or the Russell 3000 whatever it was uh, that you wanted to use now this one um, I've actually just coded it in so that it shows us how many stocks are above their 50 day moving average at any one time so according to that tweet that we just looked at when it drops below about 20 to 30 on this level um, then that's the time that we're actually looking to buy. So I've already done it up and I've just got it in our analysis window here. Um, if we want to look at the actual code itself, we're taking 20 positions at any one time, 5% in each. Um, and this is just our close above the moving average of the last 50 days. Uh, we use add to composite to create our own uh, index, um, which is what, what you see here. And that way we can visualize it as, as well. And then of course our buy signal is just when it uh, when it closes back above, let's say the, the 30 level. So we'll give ourselves a little bit of leeway. In other words, if there's 200 stocks um, and about 250 if we're using, um, using delisted stocks as well, then we want it to be about 25 to 30 um, on this particular level here. Now what I've done is I've added just that the individual stock itself is above a moving average of 150 days. That's just to, to ensure that the stocks that we're buying are actually heading up themselves. Um, and then last but not least, I won't bore you with the whole details, but we're holding it for about a year. So just using uh, the apply stop in Emmy Broker, the stop mode bars. So we're holding it for 250 bars, around about 250 trading days in a year, Take once you take away all the weekends and, and public holidays and everything as well. So we have that. Now, if we actually just run that back test, um, the way Chris was, was talking, he said, since 2008. So I'm taking that that's after the, the global financial crisis, or if we start it from the first of um, the first 2009, just make sure that we've got our ASX top 200 with delisted stocks in them as well. And of course, it'll be a daily daily trigger. And all we have to do then is just click back test. It takes literally a couple of seconds and we can get our report. So let's have a look and see how this has actually performed over the last five or six years. We've got an average annual return of 24%. Okay, so, so far we're looking pretty good. Uh, we've got winners of approximately 70% of the time. Okay, that's also very good and the maximum drawdown of 16%. So that's extremely reasonable as well. And if we look at the equity curve here, taking from a, a hypothetical $50,000, and over six years, we'd be left with about $220,000, um, you know, based on that particular one test. Now, we're going to delve into just a quick Monte Carlo test as well, which means that we're going to test a thousand random portfolios using the same um, buy and sell signals, of course, just so that we can get a feel for, you know, whether this is the norm or not. Based on the way it currently looks, it really does look fantastic. Now, of course, we want to test it back over history a little bit further because six years is just not enough for my liking um, to, to validate this particular trading idea. So let's go back to 2000 at the very least. Um, that'll give us 15 years of, of information. We'll do another back test and our report. Okay. All right, so this is where we get a little bit more reasonable. We've got a bit more information, a bit more data, and we're covering also, you know, the bear market. So 2008, um, there was a sideways to bear market in 2000, 2002, all of those sorts of things. So looking at that, our annual return drops to about 11% per annum. 
In fact, uh, over 15 years, we're left with around the same capital at the end of 15 years as we were um, just doing the last six years. And also, as you can see in the middle here, 2008, the bear market, we get around about a 45% drawdown. So that's a little bit harsh. Um, not, not too many people would be able to stomach that particular um, trading idea. Now let's take it one step further as well and just look at a Monte Carlo test um, of the last 15 years. And what we're looking at here, we've, we've already seen the equity curve and the drawdown, but this is the, this is the part that, that we're looking at. This is our thousand different random portfolios. The range is about from 6% to about 17% with the most common being 11% per annum. So yes, um, if we do include a bit more data and a bit more history, then yes, the returns do drop away significantly. So potentially it's not something that I might trade myself, um, but it definitely was interesting to see over the last six years and see how successful it was over the last six years as well. So I hope this has helped you in some way, shape or form. It's a really great thing to check out and so easy to do when you've just got a little bit of code using AmiBroker. Check out my site, it's asxmarketwatch.com. There's a free AmiBroker course there, a free course on trading systems um, and you know free trading systems that I update weekly as well and also you know market research and that sort of stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. Guys, happy trending until we meet again and bye for now.